Hello, welcome to Come Around Mod's channel. Another hot Sunday, so it's going to be another short video. But today we're going to work on connecting the PSN1, the PSN1 to the computer. This is your LogWorks. This is the LogWorks 3 dashboard. This is where you set up some of your limits and stuff. So I had to wind up getting a USB to COM port because this computer didn't have a COM port. And uh, so we'll plug this into the to the gauge and we'll start setting up our setting up our limits. I've already had it connected once and uh, I know my tack saw. My uh, the gauge is showing 500 when it should be showing a thousand, so I know that's that's not set up right. So we'll go in there and we'll we'll get all that set up. Look what I got in the mail last week. Finally got my hands on one. This is the Jack Fab ported intake manifold. You can really tell it's ported on this side. We'll do a close-up view on it here in a minute. But we got a sticker. Jack Fab. Comes with your gaskets. I'm sure it comes with the, the big 80 millimeter O-ring. But I just about gave up on this. I tried and tried it, uh, and I always kept saying it was out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. I tried day and night to get one, and I finally got one. But I really wanted to put all this on there before I tried nitrous, because I want to try the, the big 80 millimeter throttle body. I remember we got, we got the, the plate that goes on here. Let me go get him a minute. Okay, this is... This is 450, extra 50 dollars to port out the port out for the 80 millimeter throttle body. See that don't even co come close to lining up the, your bow holes. So you got to have this this adapter ring here. And it'll go on there like that. And then you got your nitrous plate go on there. And then we'll have the throttle body go on top of that. Of course, I've got it upside down, but I also decided to order some uh, some nineties. Some of my some of my uh, nitrous lines are too short. Not too short, but I mean barely reach over there, and I thought. A 90 would be the best way to go, but these are so close together that I'm only going to be able to get one 90 on there. So I'm just going to have to take the shortest, shortest cable, the shortest nitrous line, and use it for that one, and then just screw this one back into it. Anyway, I sure was. It'd been nice to have one here and one over here, but I'll get it figured out. We'll get a close-up of this real quick. Okay, this is the ported intake for your 80 millimeter throttle body. And this is the other side. What we're going to do when we get the other one off, we'll be able to set these side by side and uh, we'll, be able, we'll be able to see uh, how much was taken off. You can't even hardly tell whether this here's even been taken off. Don't even look like it's even been machined. But I'll be able to tell once I get the, the stock ones off. Hopefully they didn't forget to port it out because this is done, I believe, on a CNC machine. And this is done by Jack Fab.
and your your o-rings lay down inside here we'll have to stick all them on but it's nice and brand new I'm gonna do a complete install video on that ported intake manifold and instead of doing all this stuff separate like the nitrous plate and the throttle body we're just gonna stick them all on there on one video just gonna get her done so let's go over to the car and uh, let's get this computer hooked up to it start setting it up setting that PS1 gauge up PSN1 that's by Innovative Motorsports we'll start setting up some limits on first I know we need to start working on the tax signal I know I was getting tax signal because I showed it on the very last clip on the last video it was showing it was showing it was revving but I I realized it was wrong because it was because it's only showing 500 rounds per minute when it should be a thousand so we'll get that set up here shortly I'll get this computer disconnected and we'll go connect it to the car and we'll start setting that up okay we have this set up on the car now you see the screen there innovate motorsports PSN 1 this screen right here is pretty much already set up So we'll go over here to the, this is to the nitrous safety settings. I hope you can see that clear enough. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Okay, this is for the RPM. I'm gonna move it down here to six cylinder. Looks like it's going to get three pulses. And then you can set up your shift, shift light. Okay, this one's set up for a minimum RPM of 2,000. We can set that up to 2,500 or 3,000. Anything less than 2,000, you don't want to go there. You got to have that RPM up before you hit the nitrous. So that's, what's, that's what makes this safe. Okay, this is set up for minimum bottle pressure for your nitrous at 950 pounds. 950.1. Okay, this is your fuel to air ratio. Minimum is 7.35 on your air to fuel ratio. On your upper, max is, we're gonna leave it alone right now. This also has a valet mode, I've got it turned off. You can go in here and enable or disable your O2 sensor. So if it's not hooked up right now, you can still run nitrous, but you could go in there and disable it. That's on this middle line here. This is your O2 sensor type. There's two different ones in there. We're gonna leave it where it's at it's already set up for it and this is where you set up your your fuel this has got gasoline it's got propane methanol ethanol CNG CNG is compressed natural gas and uh, then it has diesel and it has E85. So that's all your selections on your whatever fuel you're running. We're gonna stick it back on gasoline. We're done now setting up the gauge. And you do have to have your gauge turned on while you're doing all that setup. I had to shut my door so I wouldn't be hearing that ding, ding, ding. So that's the set up on a PS1 gauge so thanks for watching